Hi there, welcome. Today we're going to talk about measuring volume. The I can statement is I can find the volume of a right rectangular prism with whole number side lengths by packing it with unit cubes and show that the volume is the same as would be found by multiplying the edge lengths or by multiplying the height by the area of the base. The other statement is I can apply the formulas V equals L times W times H, so volume equals length times width times height, and volume equals base times height to find volume of right rectangular prisms to solve real world problems. Volume is the measure of the amount of space a solid figure occupies and is measured in cubic units. The volume of a rectangular prism can be found by multiplying the length by the width by the height or by multiplying the area of the base by the height. So let's take a look at our first example here. If we take length times width times height, our equation looks like this. 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12 centimeters cubed or 12 cubic centimeters. So another way of looking at that is the area of the base times the height. So if I take the area of the base, that's 3 times 2, right? So base equals length times width, so that's 6 centimeters squared. I have found this part, 6 centimeters squared. And then I take the height, which is 2 centimeters, and I multiply it by the area of my base, which is 6, for 12 cubic centimeters or 3 centimeters. So really taking area of the base times the height is the same as length times width times height because these two pieces over here, length times width is your base area. When you do length times width, you're finding the area of your base and then you're multiplying it by the height. Go ahead and try the practice problems and then scan the QR code at the bottom and we'll go over them.